and here's my Walker partner for the day. Urn Hale in the beginning of section one of the knots. It's just before noon on Thursday, Thursday 29th. the 29th April. of April. Walk south along Nottingham Road, then take the first left by the Old People's Welfare Centre into Charles Street. Turn left into Charles Street. The Old People's Welfare Centre, 1955. After about 80 yards, turn right by metal railings. And walk between the houses. Then across a playing field. To exit on the opposite side onto another street, George Street. Um, exit onto ah, George Street. Yeah. Most directly opposite, you go through the metal gate to enter Arnold Hill, Arnott Hill Park. So we cross the road and through into the park. We enter Arnott Hill Park. The recommended route is to go past the kiosk, which is down there. Past the kiosk, along the path, past the kiosk and past the lake. Then past the playground on your right. Go left where the path splits, near the war memorial. Then, as we turn here, we go under a rock arch, which, with about 60 years of going through this park, I've never seen before. One rock arch that we're walking through. Turn left uphill. So that, I think, is supposed to be the sign that says Rose Garden, but there is the rose garden, that way, through there. Cross the, ro cross the rose garden diagonally. We've got these works of art on the left here. With an octagonal building facing you. Hang John. John. Business. Turn left, then walk, then right. Turn left, then right. To walk along a path with a raised border to your left and a bank to your right. At the end, climb the bank, which is clearly well used but not an official path, by a tree marker reading. 14 yes. European Larch Go straight across the field Go straight across the field keeping a large fir tree to your left No, it's this one. This one. Mm. To a metal handrail visible at the far side. Descend the steps by the handrail onto a walkway. This is the old Great Northern Railway. And down the steps. Follow it past some attractive wood sculptures and under a short well-lit tunnel to come out on a suburban road, Aylsham Avenue. So it says 100 years on Arnold Hill Park, 1919 to 2019. Final carnival. Deep for victory. Mind the pain. 
it's, it's, it has, it's been destroyed. Can you see it's got the train and everything? Some vandals have been and smashed it to pieces. This used to be a log work of art with carvings on the back which in the past few months appear to have been vandalised. The sign at the end pointing for the cycle route along Aylsham Avenue. Having been along here many times, I normally squeeze through the gap here. And out at the end onto Aylsham Avenue. We reach Aylsham Avenue where we turn right, the road bears to the left and we go across the playing field. There is a footpath through from Aylsham Avenue to the grass down at the end there. This is Arno Vale Recreation Ground. Walk diagonally left across the ground to a sign halfway down the side. We've arrived at the footpath, the other side of the park. There's the sign on Oval Recreation Ground and we're going through there. Pass some houses on your right and at the back of a row of garages turn right. Having turned right, the path joins Honington Close, follow this, and at the end is a T-junction. This is the only way out, so it's got to be along here. I assume this is Honington Close. Follow this, and at the end is a T-junction. At the end, we turn right, but I see it's actually called Honningham Close, not Honington Close. So we turn right onto Arno Vale Road turn left on the pavement down here so it's on to Arno Vale Road I think since my last visit the signs have gone up to date Arnold Hill Academy the road markings show pedestrians on the left cyclists on the right and the bollard shows cycling on the left and walking on the right. So I suppose I've got to walk down the white line. The instructions read, turn left on the pavement, but separated from it by, from the road by a wide green bank. Where the path splits by some trees, this is coming up here. You can go right and walk beside the road, but I prefer to take the unofficial path through the trees. Oh. The unofficial path <coughs> through the trees is coming up here. This is the path I usually take anyway. So along the unofficial track, What's this joint here? Huh. Arrow, it was pulled down many years ago and rebuilt. And I do remember this Arnold Vale Road extension being opened. Looking back, that's the footpath through the trees. This is Arnold Vale Road. And there are the traffic lights at the junction of the Road where we're going to cross got the green area opposite. Cross the Gedling Road at the lights. So we're crossing just here. So after the crossing it's up the wide cycleway And a few yards further on, take the new wide cycleway left. Signed Giddling Country Park. So this is the track, signed Giddling Country Park. I wonder why it's bendy. Makes it much more exciting than straight, I suppose. Now we have to take the second path, ignoring the first path on the left. 
a bit of protected road for the continuation of the bypass. I want to put something to show you, I've got a bit of clipping I have to show you. Well, as being a new path, it's a new seat. We have the shops on Gedlin Road and into the 70s Wimpy Estate, which I remember being built. Coming up to the first path on the left with the blue circle on the ground here and we've got the old footpathway straight ahead with the new cycleway on the right the protected greenway for the extension to Ornvale up to Mapley Plains top I thought there might have been a tunnel there at one time take the second no distinctive signage to drop down onto Ramsey Drive. Almost opposite is a footpath. So we cross Ramsey Drive to the footpath. I'm do, doing this bit. Yeah. <coughs> Which continues behind the wimpy houses. Follow this path to the top of the hill to come out near a turning area at the end of Eastern Road. <coughs> the areas on this estate are named after famous people, Bradman being well known. Cowdery Gardens. So this section is the cricket oh, section. This uh, alleyway, jitty. The top of this path goes on and on. A lot of uphill, but if it gets us to the top of Mapley Plains, then it should all be downhill from there. Passing the playing fields of the school adjoining Arnold Hill, which is Christ the King. We now have Sobers Gardens. Gary. One for the drinkers. To come out near a turning area at the end of Eastham Road. Go left, then turn right to pass in front of some shops. That's what? Passing in front of some shops. Turn right again immediately after the shops. Turn right at the end of the shops. This track significantly predates the 1970s housing, but the line has remained intact. Follow this as it kinks left at the end of Roch Close, crosses Ramsey Drive, and eventually emerges at the roundabout where Mapley Plains Road meets Spring Lane. All right. the wimpy housing from the 70s. I remember them being built in this area. So still following the path, the one that's been here years, and the houses have been built around it. <laughs> we are coming to Mapley Plains top. So we've got an Gedling Country Park, Lamley, keep junction clear. We go off down this left hand side of Spring Lane and immediately take the footpath signed to your left. We're going down here. The path crosses two rough pastures and one small field before a footpath junction. Twice a year we have walking. 
I'm not quite clear from the description how far I have to follow this track and it's not going in the right direction down to Lumley at the moment but looking at the Ordnance Survey map I can see that it veers round to the right so we keep going along here until it veers round to the right otherwise we'll end up at Woodborough the footpath across the field we hope it veers right any minute I think the path is veering to the right Here's an official sign. The path still goes straight on. There are no side paths. It's going to veer. It's going to veer here. He's obsessed. He's the guy. It looks here as if the path splits. There's one going down to a footbridge or carrying on down to the right. And our path, as the route description says, going to the left with a bridge over the Dumbles. And there's some cowslips. Do this bit over the Lamley Dumble, which I have been down. Um, it, it, can't be walked on this bit though, can it? That's the bridge we're going, and that's the Dumble it's it's into Lamley. In the route description, Lamley Dumbles is described as an unusually deep ravine cut by the Lamley Brook over the years. The Dumbles continues to be visible in places on your right. Welcome to Bonnie Dolls. It's one of 200 woods created around the country. Another minor dumble. It has got considerably windier than it was. We can certainly hear the school out for lunch or playtime or whatever they have these days. So curling round, we're on the outskirts of Lumley now. The route description tells us to pass the school. Yeah. This emerges onto the junction of Catfoot Lane and Main Street, Lamley. Passing Lamley Village Hall on the left. And that was Lamley Primary School. Public footpath to Mapley and Arnold. And this is one of the bus shelters, the Catfoot Lane bus shelter, 
nicely decorated with um, squares, knitted squares, crochet squares. Very nice. And inside we have an assortment of knickknacks, knitted, crochet, hanging from the ceiling. Free sunflower seeds, butterflies, Easter eggs, the Lumley WI. And continuing on to finish the walk at the Robin Hood Inn. The end of the walk, just two o'clock, so just two hours for the just over four miles.